What a fuck you at? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You finna miss a fucking meeting. You finna be late to a fucking meeting, bro. Where you at? I'm like, huh? I'm talking about coach cursing my ass out, bro. So I tell her my name. And she's like, uh, it says here you're not on full scholarship. What? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nine from the Rex. Back today with another video. Hey, man. I've been looking for some stuff to do on this channel. And if y'all boys click on this video, y'all in for one of the best series on YouTube. Nobody else doing this. This is, this is exclusive to this channel. So you in for a treat. And yes, we dropping these once a week. Because I got some stories to tell y'all boys, all right? Before we get into it, look at what we watching, y'all. Can I get a shout out to them Buccaneers? Because they busting the Eagles ass right now. Without that being said, let's get into the video. All right, y'all boys. So if y'all clicked on this video, a new series on this channel called Locker Room Stories. And we're going to be pretty much telling y'all boys stories that happen around in the D1 football locker room in the field game day. Just so y'all boys can kind of see and get a feel for some of the things we do, some of the things we go through. But before I can get into it, I got to start off with, with day one. So if y'all boys see the title, yes, bro, I almost got kicked off the team on the first day, bro. Let's go. Before we could even get into this video, I guess I got to kind of explain some backstory. Um, so we was ended up moving in around, like, I guess it was around May 31st or May 30th. And so on this day, this is the first day, um, we moving in for summer camp. So this is summer workouts. Um, we moved in on a Tuesday and I believe we started workouts on a Thursday. It was something like that. So with that being said, I was, I was, I was, I was feeling a whole lot of emotions on that day. So I ended up driving my car and my mama ended up driving her car. Okay. So when I woke up, I was just trying to I was trying to have enough clothes. I was trying to have my TV, my Xbox. I was just trying to bring everything I possibly could bring to uh, to really come there and and be, you know, there for the summer because you gotta understand I'm I'm moving out of my house. So this is a big thing for me. Like I'm going to college. Like I just left high school five days ago. We left high school. Um, on the 20, I graduated the 25th and I was in college on summer campus life on the 30, 31st. So y'all could, y'all could imagine all the things I'm experiencing getting ready to go to college, bro. Like I'm, yeah. So boom, I pack up as much stuff I could fit in my scat pack, pretty much get on the way to college. So my college is only about like a 30 minute drive home so once we get there we had to go to the financial aid people because i hadn't had no card made i hadn't had none of that we walk in and i'm going to try to get the card made and a lady she's like um what's your name so i tell her my name and she's like uh it says here you're not on full scholarship what so I'm already like I'm like what like I'm already thrown off like this first day this is like soon as I get to college and lady telling me it's saying that I'm not on full scholarship and I'm like nah I know for a fact I'm on full scholarship there's something wrong with y'all's in you better let me know before I you know what I'm saying but anyways they got that fixed they got that settled and so we ended up getting my car and we ended up checking in to my uh my residence so once we check into my residence i see my homeboy from 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 high school to this day you know what i'm saying we still roommates to this day he had already he had just checked in so we was, he was like what what number you in and i think our room number was like it was three something i i it was just this summer i don't forgot it already i think it was three three that doesn't matter we check into the room and it is a, a double which is a small room with two beds 
It's like y'all in one room together with two beds. I'm gonna try to put a picture up of it on the screen if I can find a real picture of it. If I can't, I'm gonna just try to put some sort of picture so y'all boy could kind of get a visual of what we was living in. All right. And so, but it was my homeboy. So if it was anybody I could live like that in, like it's gonna be my homeboy. So um, we in there. I start putting stuff down and we we shacking it like. We just putting Gatorades, noodles, we putting everything we can. One TV, and we thugging it out like that, but it's all good. So, um, I probably, it probably took me like an hour, hour, hour and 15 to move in. It didn't take that long, right? So, I say, by the time I got done moving in, I say it was, it probably was around 3-ish, 3 3.30-ish, right? So, my um my coach ended up seeing and talking to my mama one of my coaches and he was like go somewhere close to the field for something um after you get done moving in now mind you it is my first day of college i do not know where nothing's at and we have a meeting for 5 30 okay my we have a meeting for 5 30 a team meeting this is my first ever team meeting for college i didn't know anything bro like i'm really freshy i'm a freshy I, I can't lie i'm fresh to this bro like in my head all i'm thinking about is i'm the best nigga here for football i'm finna fuck over these niggas that's how i'm thinking you hear me like this i'm really a freshy bro we ended up i don't think i i really think so so my we don't know anybody there right so if, if i can kind of put it in perspective for y'all imagine you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's your first day of school, but instead, it's, it's your first day of football school. So, it's like straight football people. You don't know how your teammates finna be. They don't know who you is. You seeing niggas walk in and out. It's like, what's on? But you don't know who they is. You done seen some people on that ground. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, okay. he. I think he went to this school. You know what I'm saying? In New Orleans. I'm from Baton Rouge. Okay, woo do woo It's one of them, right? So the only person I really, really know, uh, well, it's not not the only person I know, but the only person like I'm really seeing that I know is my homeboy, right? I bet. So with that being said, shit, what I do is I do what anybody else do. I go get in the room and get on the phone with the female. Bruh. That <laughs> kid John not, bro. So it's me, is is me and my homeboy Rich. Shout out Rich. We cooling, and I'm already laid up in the bed, and I'm I'm just in that bed on FaceTime with a female, like, shit, cooling, like, I'm in college, I'm D1 football already, like, what's on, like, just graduated the other day, like, what's on, so I'm, I'm on the phone, I'm caking already, like, because we don't got nothing else to do today, like, we moved in, I'm just trying to see if I can get used to this life, you hear me, so, it's one of them, you hear me, so, I probably say I'm caking for a little while, and if I remember correctly, y'all, I kid y'all not. So my no no okay. So while I'm caking, my mama called me. She like, um, do you want me to bring you sub? But she was at the Walmart close to the school. So boom, she at the Walmart close to the school, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, yes, ma'am, you could bring me some uh subway. So she ended up coming in the room, and she brought me the subway. But by the time she brung the subway, uh, it was going to be time for me. By the time she was going to get there with the subway, it was going to be time for me to go to my team meeting. So, until then, I ended up falling asleep on the phone with the girl while we was caving. So, I done fell asleep. I think Richard the road over fell asleep. But it's all good, y'all. We set a timer for 5.15. You hear me? So, we, we good. I set a timer, so we should be straight, right? The time will go off, it wake us up. I right, boom. In my head, we straight. The time will woke us up. Like, we good. We got 15 minutes to get where we need to be. But you got to understand. Okay, boom. Time will woke us up at 5.15. I probably get out of my bed around 5.17. Okay. You got 13 minutes. Okay. I'm pro- I grab a water. I'm probably, I probably don't get outside the, at the dorm. Go down on the elevator, get in the car. To about 519 it's a five minute drive to the place we was going mind you we don't know where we going 
So honestly, around 5:15, I should have been in my in my locker room calling somebody or looking at players to follow them. But we going as if we know what we doing, which we I didn't even know where to go. So boom. We ended up pulling up to the field in like the locker room area around like I say about 527, 526. When we pull up, me and my boy Richard, we both like, man, where do we go? We looking around, ain't nobody outside. So we like, are we at the right place? Mind you, it's our first day of college. It's not our first day of practice. It's our first day of college on campus. Like, I, I of course, took an official visit, but it's different when now you're in it. Like, you're expected to know what to do, and this is your first day, you hear me? So now we like we looking around i'm like man where we go so we done pulled up but right as i pull up and put the scat pack in park you hear me i get a call mind you this ain't even my position coach y'all this is a db this the db position coach i play linebacker so you could imagine like it's bad you hear me so boom i answer the phone like what's on coach all i hear is Hey, bro, where the fuck you at? Hey, bro, hey, bro, you finna miss a fucking meeting? You finna be late to a fucking meeting, bro? Where you at? I'm like, huh? I'm talking about coach cursing my ass out, bro. Like, it's crazy, mind you. I always coming up been one of those players who I never late to practice. I've never missed any practice. I don't think in four years of high school football I ever missed a practice. I was a team captain my freshman year, bro. I like no, no, like I can show y'all like real shit. Like I was a team captain my freshman year of high school, bro. And so I've never been dealt with like this. So this show you how real college get. So I'm like, bro. I'm like, coach. I'm I'm here. I just don't know where to go. Coach was not having it. Coach like, bro, bro, don't even come in. He like he getting straight told me don't come in. So y'all, bro, I'm like, what? So in my head, like, why, like, you know, don't come in, don't come to practice. No, coach, I gotta come to practice. Like, I gotta take that leap. This is my first day. I don't know how shit go around here. So in my head, I'm finna still, I'm finna still go up there and go come in the meeting. Like, we just wasted time by you yelling to me on the phone. You could have been getting me up there. I would have been in there before 5 30. You know what I'm saying? I can I can jog up the stairs real quick. So, we actually downstairs in the lounge room. I get a text message from my position coach. If I can, y'all, I'm going to put the text message on the screen, y'all. Coach, like, bro, he like, I, I believe he like, he said something like, you late for a meeting with an emoji. And he was like, just wait outside. Yeah, hopefully, y'all see the text message on the screen. So, at this point, me and Richard, we like, we like, man, we like, damn, mind you, y'all. My homeboy, Richard, he the same way like me, but like, he not, he, I don't think he ever missed a practice. He not late for no practice. Like, we always took football extremely serious in high school, but we was, we was the guys on our team. So, for our first day, for us to be put and looked at in this situation, it was like, it was a way we never been looked at in our life. And it was, it was also like, um, it was it was we was being looked at through a lens we did not want to be looked at that a lens there was a faulty lens that wasn't who we were you know what i'm saying because i want i want to go ahead and let it be known i was never late for anything else not one thing else the whole rest of the year not one thing i had i had no lates not one thing the whole rest of my senior i mean my uh freshman year in college football i had not one tardy i went to everything i showed up to everything that I was supposed to go to and that shows like that's who I am right but let me get back into the video so we actually had the way down in the bottom lounge area and so we sitting down and I just remember like we was trying to laugh it off like me and him we both just like we like man we like damn bro like man we really ain't know like I mean what you want like what else can we do we ain't know but we we really like I know I was feeling it inside and I know he was feeling it inside too it's like damn bro like 
we really like we late as a bit like we, we, we missed the meeting because if you're late you miss you know what i'm saying it's no such thing as walking in late and i understand that rule now but i just didn't know where to go you feel me so we end up waiting so as we waiting we having people pass us up like i guess you know people that do stuff around the school and they like oh man they like y'all late they like what happened what y'all waiting for they like y'all good people people greeting us you know how you feel when you got you kind of you're not embarrassed but you like you kind of like down like you kind of shameful that's how we feeling like we like bro this ain't no good look this ain't who i am you know what i'm saying this if you trying to get good you trying to get on the coach good side you a true freshman and you late on the first day even though it's the first day and that's the day that should be excused y'all that is a horrible look so don't be like me if you finna go to college or you finna go anywhere. You finna go to high school. You finna go to middle school. Do not be late on your first day, bro. Come on, bro. This is D1 football and I'm tripping, bro. All right, bro. So what's next? So the meeting, we like we hear them having a great time doing the meeting, bro. Like we hear so much laughter, bro. It was like, like I still to this day don't know what happened in that meeting. Because mind you, we don't know nobody, so it, it, it's it's one of the most kind of like embarrassing means to miss. Cause don't nobody know you, don't none of the players know you, and what they do is they show your face unbeknownst to me. I didn't know this at this time. If you late to a meeting, they show your face to the whole team. So I'm gonna put up the picture that they would have showed to the team of me somewhere right here, right here. So. Yeah, they show your face to the whole team to let everybody know who missed the meeting. I didn't know this. So, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, niggas don't know I'm late. You know what I'm saying? Coaches know, but niggas don't really know. I was wrong. So, I'm hearing so much laughter. I'm hearing, like, like they are having a time of their life. And I'm just like, damn, bro, like, whatever. So, fast forward. We hear the doors open. We hear people start coming down the stairs. And so me, I get up and I kind of walk by the bathroom. I don't want niggas to see me sitting down on the couch and know I was late. So I kind of walk by the bathroom and I wait till some people come downstairs on the floor so I can kind of blend in with them and act like I just came from the same meeting as y'all. So when I do that, I'm doing that. I get a, I get a call from my coach. So... If any of y'all don't know, my coach is a supreme asshole. And I'm not going to say anything else about him. I love you, coach. I love you, coach. But he's an asshole, bro. Like, whew. anyways, he like, I get a call from him. He like, well, yeah. So, I'm talking about my positional coach, by the way. So, he's like, uh, where you at? I'm like, coach, I'm downstairs. And right when he said it, he see me. So he like, she, like, like, I'm like, coach, I'm like, I, I never be late again. I, I did not know what was it. He like, Shh, shut up. I'm like, what? Damn. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. Like, all right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he like, show me your phone. So I, I, I show him. He like, go to your, my name on your phone. I show him. He, he take my phone. He click on it. He like, what this say? I'm like, it say 530 meeting, coach. I'm like, coach, I knew it was a 530 meeting, coach. I just... I didn't know where to go. So then he's like, did you call and ask anybody where to go before 530? He like, no. He like, so you're wrong. So, you know what I'm saying? He he, he getting on my ass. He basically telling me I'm wrong. Um, And yeah, so after that, everybody can just go back to their room. So in my head, we, we also, we had a meet, we had a team dinner. Like I said, this whole day was supposed to be a good time. Like, nobody was supposed to be late. Nobody was supposed to be getting, you know what I'm saying, their ass chewed out yet. But little old me, my duck ass, getting chewed out already, bruh. So, um, nobody was supposed to be late. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be a good day. So, we had a team dinner at, I think it was, it, it probably was 8. I, I'm going to assume it was 8, but I don't know what time it was. But we had that team dinner. And, um, <clears throat> what happened? Oh, snap. My fault. So, yeah, we had the team dinner. And let me just put this down. So, we had the team dinner. And, uh, my coach was like, 
he don't be late to the dinner. Now, of course, I'm not finna be late to no dinner. So, me and Richard, like, I think in the meantime, I don't know what we did. We we probably cooled. I don't know. If, I don't even think I could take a nap no more. Like, I was like, no, I'm finna be extremely early. Like, I'm finna be extremely early. So, we get to the dinner. I, I think we got to the dinner probably about 30, 30, 45 minutes early. And so, when we get to the dinner, like, I had about three teammates walk up to me like, hey, bro, it's good, bro. I was late. I was late to my, I was late to my first meeting too, bro. I'm like, huh? How do these niggas know I was late? How do y'all know I was late? I, I know for a fact you ain't seen me be late. So I'm, I'm still oblivious at how these niggas know I was late. Like, these niggas, I don't even know who talking to me like, hey, bro, it's good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be late sometimes. Just don't let it happen again. I'm like, what? My nigga, like, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I ain't really trying to explain myself to no nigga, but I'm like, bro, like, you ain't got to tell me how to handle my business, like, I just ain't know where it was it, bro, like, you ain't got to worry about me being late no more, like, it's that shit over with, but these niggas really, like, they really, like, you know what I'm saying, it's boom, so now we get our place of food, they go by seniors, juniors, sophomores, in eligibility, right, so, however much eligibility you got love. That's how they call you up, right? So, they say freshman, ineligibility. So, we walk up. I go ahead and get up, man. The whole day, I'm just like, I had not ever talked to head coach yet about the situation. So, head coach knew I was late, but I had not conversated with him about it yet. So, boom. Head coach, he knows me. Like, over here is not one of them schools where you can get recruited and, and coach forget your name. You know what I'm saying? He knows who he recruited. He knows who you are. He know you by first and last name. He know where you come from. He know what high school you went to. He know the numbers you put up. Like it's, it's, they recruited you, so they know. He know exactly who you is. And I know for a fact this coach know me because the recruiting process was was so 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 so. I don't even know how to explain. It was so stressful. And if y'all boys want to see a video of my recruiting process and how I ended up here. I can drop that video for y'all boys. Just comment in the comments. So I'm getting my food. I think I think we had some chicken, some barbecue chicken, some dirty rice, some lasagna. I don't know. We had a lot of food. So I'm getting the food. And you know me, I'm just I'm just trying to put the things on the plate. I'm just trying to eat, mind my business, lay a little low. I don't want to cause no ruckus, bro. I, I done already did my do for the day, bro. So I'm just trying to chill, bro. And man. I'm walking and coaches like the head coach is standing by the door. So after you get your food, everybody gotta walk past him. So me, I see him. I'm like, think he gonna tell me something? Like I'm thinking in my head, like this nigga gonna tell me something. So I grab it and I walk past and he stopped me. He like, hey, he like, don't ever be like, like, but like he stopped me with a smile on his face. So I'm thinking, oh, we good, coach, we good. He like, don't ever be late to another meeting again, or you won't never have another meeting again. And I'm like, and me, he wasn't done it. Like, like it, it didn't done on me what he said. Mind you, this is my first. Like we, ha I have not ran a lap. I have not lifted a weight. I have not put a cleat on at this school. Like I have not done shit. And it's not done on me what he's saying to me. I'm just thinking he's saying, don't be late no more. But I, so, so the way I react is, I'm like, I start laughing. I, I do what I do whenever I don't know what a nigga talking about and he talking to me. I start laughing and bob my head. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I got you, coach. And I walk by. As I walk by, I start replaying events that this nigga, or what this nigga just told me. This nigga was like, don't, don't, don't ever be late again. Or you won't ever have another meeting to be late to. I'm like, did this nigga just threaten to kick me off the team already? I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Man, so, long story short, y'all, probably for like, probably like for, for, for that, that whole rest of that week, I ain't gonna say I was dwelling on it, but they will just like, like, don't be late, bro. Like, don't be late. And, like, I kept telling everybody, like, I would never be late to another meeting. 
and I really meant it, and I showed it too because I never was late to another meeting. But they go off actions, and my actions was I was late to the first meeting. So you feel me? So they probably thought, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, that that's kind of what happened, bro. And I almost, I really, I really like, I almost got kicked out the team on the first day. Essentially, y'all, I was late to the first meeting. So. If y'all could take anything from this, because all my story times in this, on this series, I kind of want to give y'all a little bit of substance with it too. And so, if y'all could take anything from this, just take, be on time when time is involved. It's simple as that, y'all. Just try to be on time to things that you have responsibility and you have uh, people put in place to watch you and, and, and they're expecting you and they're counting on you to be on time. Be on time, bro. Especially as, as you becoming a man, bro. Um, if, if you said you're gonna be there for three and you need to be there for three, be there for two forty-five, right? Try to be there fifteen minutes before you actually have to go there. That is my biggest advice to college football. Without that being said, if you boys enjoyed this series, I'm gonna be dropping this series something like once a week. Locker room story, you hear me? So. I got so much stories, even just stemming from the recruitment process, and I even got high school stories, so if y'all boys want me to go back to high school and stuff like that, I can, but right now, I'm, we focusing on a D1 story, just let me know what y'all boys want to see more of, it's been your boy 9 front of that red, I'm out.